What is going on guys? Welcome in today's new video. In today's video we are going to show you how to add subtitles to your TikTok videos and Instagram Reels. So, to start we will open a new project within CapCut and after that you can simply import your video file with VoiceOver into CapCut. So, now we have uh, imported the video we want to use, uh, we can simply go to text and there you see a menu with different options. After you have opened that menu, you can simply click on auto captions. Click on it and this will appear. So choose the language you want to use for your captions. Now my videos are in English, so I will select English for now. And what you can do if you have already added some captions, you simply click on clear current subtitle and it will delete all the subtitles which you have added already in this project. But now we have started with a empty project so we don't have to check mark the box. So simply click on create and CapCut will automatically make your captions. Have a little bit of patience while well, uh, the captions are loading. So now you have uh, created the captions, uh, but this isn't as accurate as you hope it will be. So basically what we need to do is some steps to make sure every caption is synced with your voiceover. And we also need to uh, change the subtitles a little bit because some words are not the words we need to use in our captions. So uh, that is the first step we want to do to make some changes in the timing, uh, add some more text, add some more subtitles. And you can basically do that by just zoom a little bit in. And now you see the captions are divided in sections. And most of the captions are synced to your voiceover down below in the video. But not everything is as accurate as we hope to. So that is the first step we need to do. We may need to make sure every caption will line up with the beginning of the voiceover. So let's just listen what will happen. What is going on guys? In today's video we are going to show you how to create your own daily habit tracker on Canva. So now you can see there are a, a couple of words which are not right. And I will show you how to edit these words. Just click on the section where the word is in. And now you can select the words you want to change. Let's say you want to change video to film. Click on this just to deselect the text order and now it will be changed. If we hover down to the caption, you will see what is going on guys in today's film. But that is not what we want to use, but it is a good as example of uh, how you can change the captions within your project. So now to go to the next step. Um, we need to customize the subtitles because you can see the words are very small and it's not very engaging to watch. So if you would like to change the captions, just enter this by clicking on the caption which you want to edit. And make sure you always check mark this box apply to all because otherwise the first caption will be customized with uh, another font and style and positioning. And the second one will be in another place. Like if I click on this one and I will move it here and I will change the text. Just select a nice font. Let's say this is nice or steady. So click on steady. And now the font has changed to the ZI steady. So what you want to do is basically give it a nice color or make it bold. You also can select the pre-styles like this. I like this one because uh, all your text will be marked. So what we can do is select this one and we want to change the text to black. 
because the border around it will be white. So scroll a little bit down and there you see stroke. Click on that and now you can select the stroke color. Move it to white and now you can see your text has a stroke. I will zoom in. Now you can see the white line outside of your text. Things like that make your subtitles more visible. So if you want to customize it, just change it a little bit and make it more visible by uh, choosing a nice font and changing the style, the colors, the positioning, because you want everything uh, to be right before you upload your videos. So for now, I will uh, move back to the project. And what will happen, uh, we have clicked on apply to all. So the second one will also be at the same position, in the same style, in the same font. So everything has a nice layout in your video. But that isn't everything. We can also add some effects. If you want to uh, use some text effects, you can uh, basically use these. These are like the text effects. So basically, uh, we, now you can basically select all your text uh, effects, but I don't want to use those. You can also uh, click on the caption and click on animation. If you want to uh, your text to move while you're talking like um, let's say we use in and typewriter well this good as you can see the um, video will show the text moving but it depends on the duration of your animation so if you have a long caption you can slightly increase the duration of the animation by dragging it to 1.5 seconds or something like that. And now you can see it is typewriting your text, your captions in your video. So that is an amazing effect to make your text more engaging. You can also um, add multiple uh, captions. So if this one is too long, you simply can move it over there and just copy that piece of text, delete that here. And now we duplicate by right clicking on the caption, the caption, and now paste it again. So you have two of the same captions in your video now, but we are going to change that. We are going to drag it all the way down so it is still synced with your voiceover. But we have to check that later, but for now we just drag it. And now you can change this text. We just copied the last part of your caption and add a dot into it. And now your captions are done. So if we play it again, you can see what will happen. I will turn on the volume so you can listen with me. What is going on guys? In today's video, we are going to show you how so you can see um, if you drag it and then uh, edit it, you can make captions shorter, but in the same time range. So it will be still synced to your voiceover after you have changed the, um, the length and things like that. So that is um, uh, basically the uh, uh, one of the last steps. So what we have to do is now uh, we have to adjust the timing of your captions to make it to make sure that it is synced with uh, the voiceover in the video. Now we are going to listen and we just pause the video at the moment the first caption has stopped. So the first caption is what is going on guys. Listen carefully. What is going on guys? What is going on guys? So basically this is already synced because here is the end of this caption. So that is nice. So we don't have to change that. And now we play it again and listen to the second caption in today's film. Guys, in today's video we... 
so you can hear it stops here and now if you want to make sure you are adjusting the timing correctly we zoom all the way in and now you can see the little dots here that are my voiceovers so basically you can see it will end over here and the new one will start over here so that is basically how you can adjust your timing correctly so to make sure your voiceover is synced with the captions in your video now after you have uh, checked all the uh, video timings so the caption timings you can simply click on export or first play it all the way again to make sure every caption is uh, with the right timing added in your video and then you can export your project file as you are used to so hopefully uh, this video was very helpful and in the next video we will make some more explanations about captions and the customization of it so we hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel have a good day guys bye bye